<sighs> Yo, what's up everyone? Welcome back to a brand new video. Hope everyone's having an amazing day because I'm not. I'm really not. You guys saw the message. Um, I got a message from one of my best locations and they said, Hey Jaime, I just wanted to let you know that the ice cream machine, um, everything is melted inside. So if you guys didn't know, uh, we do have an ice cream vending machine at a hotel and apparently everything melted inside. Uh, but if you guys are wondering how that's even possible or like how everything melted. Do you want to tell him why? Because somebody, I don't know who, <laughs> but somebody left the door open. You. It wasn't me. Yes, it was. I swear I closed it. I triple checked. <laughs> so the reason why everything melted is because somebody, I'm not going to say any names, <laughs> Somebody left the ice cream vending machine door open uh, for like a whole day which caused like the bottom of the machine to freeze. So for today's video, we got to go down there, take everything out from the machine. Hopefully, you know, it doesn't smell bad. And of course, we are going to have to throw everything away. Um, it's been two days, so we can't just refreeze it and use it. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If y'all do, drop a like, subscribe if you haven't already. Um, and also, before we get started, don't show too much around, but right now, we are at our new apartment. And uh, if you guys want a full video tour of the whole place, comment down below, apartment tour. That way, we actually know if you guys want us to do a full video tour. Uh, but yeah, anyways, let's get right into the video. All right, so here we are at the motel. Look, show them what time it is right now. Just so people know, you know, we never stop working. Look at this. Almost 12. Almost 12 p.m. right now. Almost midnight. The only thing I'm worried about are the icy pops because, you know, the, the little thing is plastic. So if it's melted, I think it's going to leak through and hopefully it's not all over the machine. Anyways, let's go inside. Let's check out the machine. I don't even want to look at it. I know everything is going to be bad. It's going to smell bad. But you know, that's what, I don't know. Let's go inside and I guess let's check it out. We're not gonna talk about how that lady's walking her dog <laughs> at midnight. <laughs> how are you guys doing? Yeah, yeah. Are we able to put this in the freezer while that cools up? You know, a lot of people are gonna be very happy. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, guys, we got the machine right behind me. I haven't looked at it yet. I'm scared. But anyways, you guys can see it right now. I can't. Are you ready? I don't even want to see. I'm not ready. Oh, my God. Well, I, actually, the stuff doesn't look melted. But you guys can see, you know, they did put a sign. I melted. Sad face. Here, let me open up the machine and let's see if it smells bad. Hopefully not, because I'm... Uh, Kind of sweet. Oh my god, look at this. Ew. That looks disgusting. Literally everything is melted. Oh my god, this thing is literally just a bag of air. Look at this. There's nothing inside. <laughs> it's literally just air. What the heck? It all came out of the bag. <laughs> I feel like I'm about to throw up. I'm <laughs> no. not even lying. <clears throat> just look at it. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, it smells disgusting. <laughs> Ew. I can't. <laughs> I'm not even I'm not even lying. It really does smell bad. Or does it smell like spoiled milk? No, it's not even this it's not even that it smells bad. You know like whenever you smell something and you think it's nasty, so like you're thinking that you know you don't want to think about it too much or you're gonna throw up. That's why I'm gagging. It's just it's not even because of that. It's because the thought I'm, it's the thought of it, yeah. Okay, so we did bring a lot of ice cream uh, to put in the machine. We put it in the freezer in the back. That way it doesn't melt as we clean the machine. So first, let's go get a big trash bag, throw everything away, and then I guess, you know, hopefully it starts working again. All right, guys, so we do have some good news. The machine is actually cooling again. Check this out. So the temperature right now is at 66 degrees. Whenever we got here, it was at 95. Dang. Literally almost 100 degrees. That's quick. So we're going to wait like 30 minutes and then we're going to take everything out and throw it away. Baby, what's wrong? Are you crying? Yeah. Why? That's my worst nightmare. What? To have a vending machine that's out of order. 
gonna be okay. We'll, we'll get it fixed. You know I don't like to have vending machines out of order. Look at this. Look at that. Look at this, literally so many stuff. It sucks. I think this actually ruined Eskimales for me. Comment down below if you guys have ever tried these. You're not, you're actually not Hispanic unless you've had these before. They're not all that. It actually gets me so mad because literally the day that everything melted, the, the day before is whenever we filled up the whole machine. Look, you guys can see all the pizza is was all the way filled up. All right, you know what? This is probably not a good idea, but I, I'm gonna open up one of these to see what it looks like inside. A melted ice cream Snickers. You ready? Everyone right now, cover your noses because I'm pretty sure this is going to smell disgusting. I bet it's going to look like throw up. <sighs> Come on, please don't make me throw up. Please don't make me throw up. Oh, throw oh that my away. God. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying really hard not to be loud because there's people here. <laughs> That gag says otherwise. <laughs> it will go away. I can't do it. <laughs> oh, that's disgusting. <laughs> Look at my eyes. Can you see it? I'm yeah. crying. I'm literally crying. All right, and there we go. We finally got the machine back in working order. We have all the icy pops, all the fat boys. We did double up on a lot of coils just so you know the machine looks full until next time we come and bring a lot more ice cream. Uh, Cause half of the ice cream was melting already on the way. Day two. All right, everyone. So it is now the next day and I'm kind of worried because I've been checking the app on my phone to see if there's been any sales ever since last night uh, when we went to go fix the ice cream machine. And so far, nobody has bought anything, which is weird. So either number one, nobody wants ice cream today, which is, you know, weird because it, it's hot outside. Or number two, the machine is broken again and everything melted because um, it's 3 p.m. And there's not one single sale, which is weird. Today, right there, zero dollars. There's no way. There's literally no way. There's what? no way. Okay, so I just got a message from a different location. It, it says, hey, you guys came in and brought a different drink machine last week because uh, the other one was leaking. Uh, but the second machine is also leaking from the bottom. Um, it's a hazard for the employees and the residents. So we need somebody to come out and replace it or pull it out. Oh. Damn, that's crazy. <laughs> oh. Yo, what is up with this video? <laughs> What's up with this video? First, the ice cream machine. Everything melts. Now another machine is leaking so now we gotta go back over there today switch out the machine um and it's gonna be the third one i mean third time's the charm i guess what if it's not yo hey, i swear if this third machine leaks also <laughs> i'm gonna just quit vending because there is no way there's literally no way three machines in a row leak and yeah so it's definitely leaking check this out they actually put what is this a blanket it's not a oh look it's all wet Oh, it's soaked. But the machine though, check this out. It's literally empty. 
The snack machine as well is pretty empty. Look at this, all the chips are gone. Um, some of the candy slots are empty. All the crackers and pastries are gone. Like I said, this location is pretty good, so that's why we want to get the machine fixed. Because um, the people here, you know, they seem pretty upset that the machine was leaking. And obviously they have a right because, you know, if somebody comes and buys something and they slip, that could be really bad because then, you know, we, we would have to obviously pay for it. And we kind of don't have insurance. <laughs> I'm just playing, I'm just playing. <laughs> There's water down there? I was also thinking if we put the snack machine by the window, yeah. wouldn't the chocolate melt? It would? Oh, you know what? You want a cupcake? Mm -hmm. You get a cupcake for a dollar. That sounds creepy. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, so check it out. We actually got the new machine in and like I said, third time's a charm. Hopefully this machine doesn't leak because if this third machine leaks, I don't know what to do. Like what do we do? Swim. Swim? <laughs> I was going to take the light bulb off the other machine and put it on this one because this one, the light bulb on top is out. But it still looks good though. It's not as dark. It's kind of, I don't know. It'll be better if we had the one on top though. And also in the last video, I do want to mention that we got flooded. And whenever I say flooded, like we got so many comments on people, you know, telling us that we're dumb and that, and that we're breaking the law because we weren't wearing gloves. So there you go. For everyone hating, we got gloves. Because apparently washing your hands and using hand sanitizer isn't, is, enough. isn't enough. Oh, it's leaking too. Nah, I'm just playing. Stop. <laughs> All right, but anyways, guys, uh, my girlfriend is actually about to leave. She's gonna leave me, so I'm gonna have to fill up the machines by myself. I'm walking home. No, she's not walking home. She, she has to go drop off the old machine at our storage unit, you know, obviously. So, I mean, I guess I'll fill up the machines by myself. You'll be fine. So, yeah, I mean, I guess now I'm gonna fill up the machine real quick. See you later. Oh my God, finally she's gone. All right guys, so I'm sorry if you guys can't hear me. The TV is on right behind me and I can't turn it off. But check it out, this time I am gonna be trying out the Blue Mountain Dew. I've never tried it before, so I don't know if it's good or bad. So real quick, if you've tried this before, comment down below, is it good or is it bad? Uh, I think it's limited time right now, so I'm not sure you know, if people even know about it. So yeah, I'm gonna put in the machine and hopefully it does good. You guys can see we have three Mountain Dews, the blue one, the green one, and the diet one. Here we go, finally the last drink for the drink machine, and I am finally done. Yes! All right, but before I leave, I gotta change the prices real quick. So cupcakes, uh, let's see how much are those right now. C5, okay, that's a dollar. Yeah, we can't do that. I'm gonna put them all the way up to 125. Cupcakes are pretty cheap, uh, but I do sell them for 125 just because, you know, I do pay commission. All right, so before I leave, I'm gonna show you guys how much money the snack machine made. I'm not gonna take it home with me. I'm gonna just leave it in the machine. This is gonna be a little bit hard since my girlfriend isn't here, so I'm gonna do this with one hand. 
Here, actually, I'm gonna take it out. Uh, so this is a snack machine again. It's kind of hard with one hand though. And there it is. That's the snack machine. Yeah, so there you guys go. That's how much money the snack machine made. Uh, there's a bunch of fives. I can see all the pink in between. All right, guys, so we are finally home. It's been a very, very long, you know, past 24 hours. You know, we, you guys saw we threw everything away from the ice cream machine. We had to go replace a third machine that was leaking. You know, you're gonna get service calls where you have to go and fix the machines, even though you don't want to. Like, we were supposed to, you know, be home, chill, watch Netflix, eat, and... We None had to, of that happened. Yeah, literally <laughs> nothing. But, I mean, I guess we can do that now for the rest of the day. But anyways, again, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a like, subscribe if you haven't already. And again, if you guys want an apartment tour of the new place, comment down below, apartment tour, and uh, who knows? Uh, maybe I'll do it for the next video. You got anything you want to say? Y'all are invited to our housewarming party. Oh yeah, next weekend. <laughs> yes, we're actually having a housewarming party next weekend. If you want to come, now I, I wish people can come, but we can't. There's not even enough parking. We have one, two, and three parking spots. Three people can come. <laughs> so y'all fight over it in the comment section or right now. carpool. You know what? The top three comments that get the most likes, you guys are invited since we got three parking spots. <laughs> so I don't know. Better be the funniest one. Anyways, peace out everyone. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Guys, she's mad because... She wants to invite her friend for the housewarming party next weekend, and I don't want her here. <laughs> I'm just playing. You That's why I'm asking you if I should invite her. Yes, you can invite whoever you want. You already know this. Yo, why do you have so many bruises? Because you beat me. I told you if you say that, I'm going to beat you again. <laughs>